this particular age level, these are grade five, six, uh, currently uh, their unit of inquiry is sharing the planet, which is about um, Earth's finite resources and um, finding alternative energies. So this film that we watched today just fitted in perfectly with, with that. I'm going to show you a film today and the film is called Electric Dreams. Hi, I'm Eric and I'm a really keen blogger. Philosophy with primary school age students is about uh, engaging them in dialogue, exploring the big rich ideas and the issues that are central to life. You know, it really engaged them and they, they connected with the humour of it. It's often you know, a topic that's couched in doom and gloom, so I think that the, the light-hearted treatment of that topic was great. Electric forks, electric blogs. The length is important. It's, it's good if you can use a short film that gets you there. That um, I filter the films when I'm searching. Firstly, suitable for year level, because that's often difficult, and on concepts mainly. It's finding the concepts within, so whether it's responsibility or, um, you know, they were coming out with ideas that just after one viewing of the film, they were coming out with things like change, perspective, beliefs, causation was another one, choice, uh, and that's just from one viewing, and I've no doubt they'll want to watch it again, because it, it's amazing that subsequent repeated viewings of a film, just, it, it just throws up more rich ideas that the kids want to investigate. If that movie is really going to happen in the future, it makes me think about that if oil is going to run out, it makes me think that everyone really has to use it wisely. It made me think when we, well, eventually we will run out of these finite resources, but what will happen when we run out? What will happen to the generation that um, experiences that? will get the kids to come up with student questions and every question, no matter what the quality of the question, every question gets written up. Okay. What I want you to do is to take a minute or two to just write down what you think are some of the, the big ideas or the concepts that are in that film. And I think there's, there's lots. Lots have come out from just that little bit of talking we've done now. We'll sort them into maybe um, similar um, ideas or concepts and then the students um, perhaps will vote on, on which ones they want to investigate further. And that can be in small groups where everyone then reports back. Or if everyone tends to be uh, interested in a particular area like, you know, beliefs or... They, they seemed interested today in uh, the main character in the film about him not knowing and how do we know what we know, which is a, a good one to follow through, I think. Hmm. I think that... For me, you have to experience something to really know all about it. I and mean, he really didn't experience it. So. And do we have to see it to know it? And that idea that of progress. I did progress. Progress, because, yeah. Because yeah. Um, that's the, in the video, the, the future is the progress of life. And that's what he, um, he was trying to progress of what, what he was doing. By progress. Like, what's your kind of defi- like, I think we all kind of have all different definitions of progress. Would you talk about My role is, is a facilitator to make sure that the conversation, that the discussion keeps moving, but that it, it stays on track, that it stays focused, that, you know, we bring it back to the idea we're talking about. It, how much adaptation we need to do? We think that we're becoming more global and people are travelling and people worlds are, you know, sort of expanding and yet in this film it showed a future where it was back to the tiny little village, uh, which is an interesting perspective. The ball throwing is for, you know, taking turns to make sure that everyone listens to each other and that you look at the speaker, so whoever's got the ball, you're to look at that person and it's their turn to talk and you don't have a hand up while someone is talking, you wait till they're finished and um, you know you try and keep it moving. The words on the floor were so that they can then be seeing them to then the next step to, to uh, get them to asking questions they could then pluck those ideas and ask a question that is broader than the, the story in the film itself so going beyond the text. So if they're, they're looking at responsibility then they can ask a question about responsibility. Do we always think it's our responsibility to fix these things? 
Um, so it's good to have the, the, their ideas out on the floor or up on the board where they can all see them. Uh, and it's a prop for some of the kids who just need that you know, extra support. To ask students sometimes to just come straight out with you know, some insights, you know, sometimes they need time to bed that down and, and, and oftentimes we'll get into small groups. Some, some students, you know, instead of hearing what they're thinking out loud in the circle, they like to try it out first in a small group. So we'll break into small groups where they can talk to each other and then we'll come back to the main circle and share those ideas. Sometimes I give icy pole sticks out to everyone, two icy pole sticks, and when they have a turn to speak, they have to throw the stick into the centre of the circle, and that way you can see, you can visibly see who's still sitting there with their two sticks, you know, and at the end, if there's still someone, you know, kids with them, it's like, okay, just a quick word from you, you know, how do you think you went today, or how do you think we went as a group? Quick uh, round up um, a reflection just at the end, we've only got time for thumbs up, thumbs up yes, thumbs down no or I need more time to think about it or I need to work on it more. We started off saying that the um, skill today was building on ideas, making connections. Show me if you think that we did in our discussion today build upon each other's ideas. Do you think we made progress in our discussion? Okay, did you enjoy the film? Yes. Excellent. Oh, it absolutely applies across all subject areas where it's student-centred learning and they are inquiring into the things that interest them and exploring that. It, it, it's an inquiry-based learning school and I would say that all the staff in the school have you know, the this, this skills and they do do it. I think they do it really well. Um, here it's just that I'm able to, I've got the, I guess, the luxury of um, coming in and focusing on the, the contestable ideas that are there uh, and, and it's not for me to give my opinion about what something is about or where I stand on these things. I don't want to influence their thinking, it's getting them to work it out and it's okay for them to change their mind. They're learning that you know they can say something and then further on in discussion you'll, you might hear you know, someone say well actually I've changed my mind and that's great you know. Um, and I think teachers sometimes need to get used to that, stepping back, get, uh, giving wait time for kids to think. Short films are really good for getting the discussion going. Uh, they engage students uh, in, in the topic and the good thing about the, the campfire films is that they don't do the thinking for the kids. They don't tend to preach a message. And so the kids are, are thinking for themselves, which is really central to, to what we do.